Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up SideQuest on a Linux based machine. I'm using Ubuntu, but you could use any Linux distro that you want really. If you have any, you know, any problems during it, during it, whether it's on Ubuntu or some other OS, feel free to pop me a message and I will help you. Okay, so this video is like I said, setting up SideQuest so you can sideload games onto your Oculus. Quest and it will work for Oculus Go as well for obviously you know Oculus Go supported applications and yes yeah, so one little prerequisite outside of you know the OS and obviously the actual headset is that the cable that's included in the box for an Oculus Quest is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C. If you got a newer laptop you probably got USB Type-C port on there so it's not the end of the world so it's fine actually. If you've got a really new PC there's a good chance that you have, but if you're using a PC, there's a, I'll say most people won't have it. My computer does not have a USB Type-C port, so you will have to use another cable. Fortunately, if you're an Android user, you probably got one anyway. I'm actually using the cable from my OnePlus 6 phone, so that's just something to bear in mind that you may not be able to do it straight out of the box, depending on what sort of connections you have on your laptop or your computer. Okay, so the three main steps. The first thing that we need to do is actually we need to go to Oculus dashboard and we basically need to do the sign into our Oculus account. If you don't have one, create one. Chances are if you've already set up what's it called your I'm not, you, know, you know looking for your my wife said, you act your Oculus Quest, you will have an Oculus, you know, account. So if I log in, continue with Facebook, I might need to put my details in here. So let me just do the screen capture is off now. So let me just quickly sign in. And okay, so just bear with me. It is signing in. Just waiting for Facebook.com. Okay, so it's saying I'm using an old password. Please try the new password. a new password. One second. Uh, I've entered a new password again. I've entered an old password again. Try logging in. I know what the old password is. I mean, I know what the new password is. And we are in. Okay, so if I activate the screen capture again, there we go. I'll minimize this, I'll update it afterwards. It just doesn't seem to want to minimize, so I'll do that afterwards anyway. And okay, so if we go back to Oculus dashboard, and what you want to I'm logged in already. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do is go to uh, see, see exactly Oculus dashboard you want to go to, dashboard.oculus.com, and it's redirecting me. And you want to create a new organization. So it says this is say the legal name, basically the name would that would display on the store. It's only if you're creating content. If you're not, that's fine, you can put anything you want. So I'm gonna say something random, something random. I've already you know, done them before, but I just want to show you all the steps. Click I understand, click there. I have read, I agree. And there we go, it's created. So that's essentially allows us to put you know, side loaded applications onto our Oculus device. Next, what we want to do is I'm going to switch to my phone and you need to enable developer mode on your Oculus app so the oculus quest or your oculus device is in developer mode so let's switch to my phone so you want to go to your oculus app this could be on ios or android doesn't really matter and once you've got this open you want to go to settings and just wait for stuff to load up then you want to select your device which is the first one for me oculus quest it's going to connect to it as connected Click it again so it drops down, click more settings, go to developer mode and enable developer mode. So at the moment it's enabled, if it was like this it would be disabled, 
unlike this, it is enabled. So once that's done, we can actually get off. Okay, we are back now. So what we need to do is download SideQuest. And if you just go to sidequestvr.com, I'll actually provide links to everything that you will need. Ooh, super cold. That sounds like it's gonna be something like super hot. I haven't seen this, so just give me a second. So it looks interesting. What this is like. Okay, I might check that out later. So go to download, go to the Linux distro right there, click that. You'll start downloading. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. And now what you can actually do is close your browser down. Minimize that. And go to your download directory. Just right click and extract it. Or extract it however you know you do on your Linux distro. And it's that's all done now. And if you go in here, there's one file, uh, well, you need all of them, but really there's the one file that we want to deal with, and they side quest. To open that, open up terminal, go to literally to this folder, so navigate to this folder, and inside here, if I type in ls, you have all the files including the side quest. To open it, you do dot forward slash side quest. There you go, it has launched it up right here. And it's saying connecting, it's going to fail just because I haven't connected my you know, headset. Oh, so make sure your headset's on. Plug the USB cable into your phone, not into your phone, sorry, into your Oculus Quest and into your computer. So I've plugged it in now. There we go. So it has now connected. Um, yeah, I also forgot to mention that if you want to do this on Windows or Mac, I've got videos covering that as well. So here we go. So what we can do now is we could go to games and we could find the game. So the game that I usually always try, you know, show is Quake. It's just the one I usually always try and show. Uh, Quake should be here somewhere. There we go, Quake, Quake Quest. And if you just go to install latest, if I go to the tasks, it is downloading the APK. So depending on what you actually try and install and download, it may take less time or more time. And also it depends on your internet speed as well. So this is downloading from Dr. Beef's GitHub repository. It's almost downloaded and the installation will only take a matter of seconds. So that's all installed now. And what you can do is if you see here, drag and drop your APK for slash OBB files. So if you download a Oculus Quest game or an application outside of SideQuest and you have an APK or an OBB file, you can literally drag it onto here, drop it, and you'll go through the same steps as, you know, essentially downloading it. I mean, not downloading it, but installing it through here. So it's the same process. So you're all good to go. Even if you have a separate APK, just drag it onto here. So so imagine if this was the APK, you just drag it onto there, like there, drop it, and it would install it onto the connected device. So that's installed now. So I'm going to disconnect my quest. You'll see, as you can see, that's gone red now because I've disconnected it. Let me just get my controllers and let me show you the actual you know, game working. Okay, so the I'm on my headset. So just give me a second. I'm going to go to sharing and record a video. Okay, so you should be seeing my Oculus Quest screen now. To actually play a game that you've installed in this fashion, you go to library. And instead of the game appearing here, you will appear in unknown sources and it will be over here somewhere. So I've got Quake Quest. Click that and you will launch Quake Quest. So let me grab my left controller. I'm just going to turn the volume off. And new game. And there we go. So I can move my, as if I'm moving my right hand in, out, left, right, just rotating me as well. 
I can look around physically by you know rotating my head and rotating my body and jump up and down and I can shoot stuff and I'm dead <laughs> okay so yeah that's really all you need to see in terms of stop sharing so there we go it has uh, no stop sharing so that is all you need to see in terms of how to set up side quest on a linux machine so you can side load any application and game you want if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video